create is done, read is done. Now we need the update and the delete up and running, these two. Before we do that, I want to kind of pre-populate some data because I don't want to sit and have to create all the data every time I launch my application. So I'm going to show you how we can default set some startup customers in our database or whatever you guys are using very simply and actually do it only for development mode using something um, in the startup CS file here. So let's try and put in some customers right at startup using our different layers. So under customer REST API, under startup CS file, I'll double click this guy and I'm inside the file right here. And let me just zoom, keep this zoom because there's the class and there's a couple of functions, the startup function, the configure service function, and then there's the configure function in the bottom here. And that's the one we want to work with because there's actually one called environment.isdevelopment, meaning that we only do this inside the development environment. When we go to production or the real environment, this will be ignored. Good. So I'll go in here and I will say, um, first of all, I want to create access as always to my business logic layer. And I do that through the business logic layer facade. So I'm just going to make an access point here to the facade by writing new BLL facade like this. And I'll just create a new initialization of it. And I hope you guys could see this, but I'm going to use customer app PLL. So there we go. Remember the using statements. Now that I have a facade available, I want to use that facade to get a customer service. And in that service, I want to create a new business object, a new customer business object. So in the create function here, I'm going to say new customer BO, customer BO. And it's very helpful. It wants me to make it in a one-liner. I don't know why it's so helpful. I don't want that. Go away. I want to create it differently. So let's try and see what the lamp has to say. Help me lamp. Because I want to be the using the customer business. The other way is also actually correct. So let me try and show you. This is actually okay, but it's just a lot of code on each line where you need to use this. So by instead using the using keyword, we actually put it only one time in the top of the class. And that's just easier to read the code when it's only one time in the using statements in the top of the class. We want to actually add some data to these business objects right away. So I'll just add a curly bracket. And again, in here, I'm going to give this customer a first name. And let's just call this guy Lars, because then Lars is always available. And who doesn't want a Lars available? Uh, last name equals builder and address. I'll just put home here because that's actually where I'm living. I, mean, I know, I'm good. So I'll say copy this guy and I'll just paste it because I want another customer and he will make Ole and we'll call him Ericsson. And let's say he lives, uh, I can't tell you where, but it's somewhere. Oh, somewhere. There we go. So now I have two customers created in my system. Let me just zoom out here so you guys can actually see everything now. So again, I'm just using the facade, just creating two customers like this. And I'm doing that inside the startup file inside my customer REST API. So let's launch the application again, just to show you that right out of the box, now I have two customers available to actually work with. And that means it's a lot easier for me to test my delete, test my update, because you just restart the application and boom, I have two customers. Delete them, restart the application and boom, I have two customers again. So every time I can restart and actually repopulate some basic data, some default information, we call this seeding the database. Like we're seeding it with information every time we start it. But let's see if this actually works. Remember that if you see something like this, just put in API slash customers, and I should actually get all my customers, including these two new guys. Now it looks like crap right now, so let's try and change that in the next lesson so we get a more shiny, JSON-like look and feel. See you next time.